Okay, last news. Uh, Pakistan's Asia, Asia Bibi, um, her brother-in-law's body was found with throat slit. Jonas, the brother-in-law of Asia Bibi, a Christian woman previously sentenced to death in Pakistan over allegations of blasphemy, was found dead with his throat slit on the Monday of May 25th. For background, previously in 2011, um, Governor Salman Tasir and Shabazz uh, Bhatti, uh, who's a minister, were both assassinated for speaking out against the blasphemy laws that imprisoned Bibi. No charges have been made, no changes have been made to the blasphemy laws as government officials in Pakistan fear deadly backlash. Wait, so I, I don't know if people are familiar with uh, Aisha Bibi. This was a huge, huge case. And now she's in England. She ran away, right? Because Canada. She was Canada. Canada. Oh. England wouldn't. Uh, England oh. wouldn't give her uh, yeah, it's too uh, because they were afraid that they would have, you know, it would cause too many problems. Wow. I did. Okay. They That's were afraid okay. it was cause too many problems. Um, uh, her lawyer, who I've met a few times, who he was the lawyer for Asia Bibi, who was in prison for nine years, by the way. Um, yeah, she finally got to Canada, but this is her brother now. So if they can't get but to her, they're going to get to her family. Your brother in brother in law. So brother in law. Aisha Bibi was um, condemned to of, of blasphemy in Pakistan for insulting Prophet Muhammad, right? Yeah. Supposedly, yeah. someone overheard her. Women overheard her yeah. when they were getting water. Right. Insulting she, Prophet Muhammad and Asya and she is was Christian. In jail for, mm. Yeah. There's more though. She's Christian. And they were saying that she repeatedly does this. She insulted Prophet Muhammad. But the woman who made the charge, she and Asia had had, like, some issues prior to this. That's too much detail. But <laughs> so she, uh, it doesn't matter if she actually did it or not. I mean, this shouldn't be a crime. She uh, mm -hmm. allegedly blasphemed against Prophet Muhammad. She was in jail for many years waiting to see if she gets the death penalty. She didn't. But then the mob in Pakistan wanted to kill her, as the mob in Pakistan often do. Um, and she ran away, and the United Kingdom said, like, they first looked at United Kingdom for her to run away from Pakistan so she could save her life, and United Kingdom were like, listen, we don't trust the Muslims here. You are too controversial for the Muslims in the United Kingdom. Like, this was an indirect admission of United Kingdom of how toxic their Muslim community is. They're like, if you, like, there, it was comparable to the Muslims in Pakistan. Basically, that was the United Kingdom's government was admitting. Like, oh, if we accept you here, this has caused too much controversy. Like, they were indirectly admitting that they're scared of the Muslim population in the United Kingdom and the reaction. This is, this, this is like, the, you couldn't make a better case to show how toxic the Muslim community in, in, in the United Kingdom is. But then Canada accepted her, but apparently this is like Muslims in Pakistan, they really want to kill her, this woman, so much. And they're so, you know, they're so obsessed with revenge over this woman who allegedly blasphemed, blasphemed against Muhammad that they're like, okay, if we can't get to you, your family is still here. We're going, you know, so we're going to go after, like, so anybody right now in Pakistan that is related to um a cbb in any way is like i would if i was them i would be scared right mm -hmm. and unfortunately it's not going to be easy for them to make any asylum cases like oh i'm related to this person that blasphemed like i don't know this is going to be so it's so messed up this is so fucked up okay so fucked up. i mean and it, yeah. previously uh, uh, previously ahead. in 2011 they also the mob also killed uh, Pakistan uh, governor of Pakistani Punjab who made appeal for Asia Bibi's release because she was imprisoned and banned from leaving the country, right? So they killed the gov governor who appealed for her. Yeah, yeah. Again, and again, I don't understand like how these people are not saying that the embarrassment and the ex you know that they're causing for Islam um, and the, the you know the damage that they're doing to the image of Islam which is, is so much higher than the, what this blaspheming of this woman could do, right? Like, I don't know if they do not see, see that or if they see it, but they don't care. But it's, you know, anyways. Rivka, you want to say something? Well, I wanted to say her daughter also got out with her to Canada. But yeah. um, 
the point I was making about the woman who accused her and having they had some like completely unrelated, you know, maybe, you know, neighborly conflicts is that is what so not only are blasphemy laws, you know, wrong from a freedom of expression point of view, but they're target minorities or people that you don't but people use them to get at people Mm. that they don't like or that whose property they want or whose wife they covet i mean there's all kinds of things that these laws just engender all kinds of abuses not to mention the human rights perspective of being able to have a different mindset or a different set of ideas so i just wanted to bring up that it's just such a they're so horrible on so many levels and also you know they sentenced her to death but then they took away the death sentence but then they finally acquitted her so i think that part of the mob's frenzy is that they thought she was going to die and then that was sort of snatched away from their hands and they were angry about that too so there's right. just all this heightened stuff around this case and it's been going on for nine years now yeah, so just a reminder to people that given how sensitive these people are and how how it's so risky to people uh, to blaspheme or to even be accused of blas- blaspheming against Islam, if it's safe for you, try to c- consider taking the opportunity to blaspheme against Islam as much as possible. Um, if you, anybody is offended by anything of this, if you're watching for Pakistan, just remember... Fuck Muhammad, fuck Allah. Islam needs to die as a religion. And, you know, we should just keep saying that. Like, if you think this is true, keep saying that as much as possible because you, you know, you're just desensitized. You need to desensitize this community, right? If you are not in Pakistan, make sure that you could ex- say stuff like, you know, fuck Muhammad as much as possible, right? Like, people are like, oh my God, that's too harsh. Well, you know, well, fuck you too then. Like, it's important it's like i'm serious like it's important to blaspheme as much as possible so for so for people to see that this whole intimidation tactic doesn't work and the more you can show to their community that intimidation tactic will backfire the more the the faster we're going to get to a point where they're not going to be using it as a tactic that's what her, her lawyer saif maluk he was saying, you know, like that's that's my that's his perspective. Like they're not going to intimidate me from carrying out the law, from supporting someone who wants to express themselves, from fighting back against this absurdity of these blasphemy laws. And this guy's a Muslim, so I thought yeah. it was just really interesting that he, you know, that's his point. Like you're saying, like I'm not yeah. going to be intimidated by these people. Yeah, this is why I burned the Quran on camera, right? If it's mm-hmm. by the way, I really encourage for more people to do this. If it's safe to them, if it's safe, don't burn down your house or anything like that. Don't burn anyone else's Quran. Don't take anyone else's property. Buy your own Quran. Take a few pages, burn it, record it, put it on the internet, just to normalize this kind of stuff. Okay. Um, again, do it safely. Okay. Don't if you burn down your house, don't come and say like, "Oh, Armin, this is your fault." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, Armin like, told me, <laughs> and that they yeah. burned down. That's what maybe that's what the people at the church were trying to do: burn down yeah. a burn a Quran, and then they decided they had to blame someone because they messed up. Right. Oh, burn a Bible, I mean, maybe burn a Bible. Yeah. 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 Anyways, this is our last news, guys. Thank you, everybody in the live chat. Again, look into uh, look. You know, if you are watching us on Facebook. Come check out our YouTube channel. If you're watching us on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed, what the hell is wrong with you? If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, why wouldn't you? Like, look at our content. It's so awesome. Uh, and also subscribe to our newsletter. Link is in the description of the YouTube channel. So check that out. Oh, merch. Yes, get the hoodie. Wait, we don't have a link to our store in our description we should add that just search for atheist republic hoodie it will show up anyways love you guys and talk to you guys again soon bye 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 news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel 
hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos. But nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 